Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline and joining us uh, where he celebrated the arrival of the new year in sunny Florida today. For our weekly feature that we call What's It Worth? We'll move it back next week to its regular time on Tuesdays at 730. But it's great to have Barry Blank uh, from National Estate Jewelry Buyers uh, with us this morning for our first installment of What's It Worth? Uh, of 2019. Barry, good morning and Happy New Year to you, my friend. How are you? And Happy New Year to you. I haven't spoken to you since last year. It's been a year. A whole year has gone by. You're right. You're right. So you're you're joining us from Florida this morning. Is that correct? I am in Boca Raton at the Boca Raton Resort and Club. Very nice. I've never been to Florida, but I imagine lizards and flamingos. Uh, do you see a fair amount of those uh, when you're there? Oh, well, we saw some plastic pink flamingos <laughs> in people's lawns. <laughs> uh, we did see some huge iguanas. Sitting, really? Uh, we were on the inter- we were, we were on the, our pontoon boat, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we saw some huge iguanas. They were gray because they take on the color. And funny, they were right near an orange sign, so with uh, a, a, a warning sign with orange um, uh, frame on it. Uh-huh. Part of their bodies were orange, <laughs> same color as the plane. They Very take cool. on the color of whatever is around them. I'd like to see them walk on a plaid jacket and see if they can handle that one, right? Yeah. That should be pretty fun. Yeah, uh, that'd that's, be funny. We have 35 degrees here, Barry. Are you at least double that this morning? Yeah, well, with the wind chill factor, it's still 80 degrees. Oh, wind chill of 80, Okay. All right, very nice. Yeah. Not a bad way for January, but 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 happy new year yeah. of course to you Barry and your entire family and your entire staff. And this is a great opportunity to remind everybody uh not only of course the great work that you do with the with the jewelry buyers and uh, the great retail operation and the brand new showroom that you have there. Uh also the your work that you do as as a pawnbroker, which uh, I don't know if people really know and remember that uh, you also do a, a pawnbroker business there too. Uh let's remind people about that and and what exactly is uh, does a pawnbroker do what a pawnbroker does is it lends money based upon collateral and collateral is in my business we we don't we don't loan on uh dishwashers and on chainsaws we only do jewelry diamonds watches coins and silver we will do some other uh, uh, objects of art and authenticated uh, works of art but we don't get into the small minutiae um, because we don't have the storage space for it. What, what are some so, of the more popular things that, that people come through the door with uh, looking to do like a, a pawn deal with you with? Um, engagement rings, mm-hmm. uh, coin collections, gold coins, uh, expensive watches. Um, pretty much that, you know, we, we the name of the, the pawnbroker business is Barry's Jewelry Loans. Okay. So we, we operate under, in, in National State Jewelry Buyers, home turf Mm -hmm. but it's it's a very service-oriented business now when you come to when it comes to determining the value of someone that is bringing to you that they can get a loan against do you approach it the same way as if they were there to perhaps sell the item to you and you make the highest possible offer the same way that you would if they were going to try to sell it no it's very different okay very different uh, very different because we're not trying to own the item we're just trying to ascertain how much we have to protect so the first thing we're usually going to ask is how much of a loan are you looking for? And then we work backwards. Okay. So if you're looking for a thousand dollar loan, but you, the item you, you, the wholesale value you have is only worth five hundred dollars, we can't loan you a thousand dollars because the the loan is being backed up by your collateral. Sure, sure. So it's and, a very different. Story. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, when, when it comes to, do they get uh, their their money immediately in the form of a check or a money order? Or say the deal goes through, <laughs> how, how do they get their cash? On things under ten thousand mm-hmm. <clears> dollars, <throat> excuse me. It's usually we we pay cash. Wow. Um, and things over ten thousand, um, the issue is that it's better for us and the client to uh, to work with a check. For t- so, so ten thousand uh, is is kind of the cutoff there. Yeah, okay. but no, even even in higher amounts, um, we will do a higher amount thing, and then we have to do all the. Uh, the reporting over ten thousand dollars. Right, right. Yeah. I, I thought that rule still applied. That any is, is it true? Is it any transaction over ten thousand dollars? There's some reporting that has to go along with that. Any any cash transaction. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I can write I can write a fifty, sixty, seventy, hundred thousand dollar check on a loan, and we don't have to report it because that's that's uh, 
uh, memorialized by writing the check. That's interesting. Okay, I never knew that part of it there either. Uh, talk yeah. talk about the repayment process and what's the structure for that? Is there an interest rate? Is there a, a series of fixed payments? How does that work? Now, these, these, what, what I tell my clients and I tell everybody I work with is that the, the, it's great short-term loan. The fee for us, uh, uh, our pawnbroker, and we are regulated by the state of New Jersey Department of Banking, mm-hmm. is 4.5% a month. And I got to tell you, for a $45 fee on $1,000, it's really cheap for one month. Even two months, it would cost $90. But after that, it gets very expensive. Um, and it's a four-month loan that could be renewed at the end of four months by just paying the interest, uh, which would be $45 a month for four wow. months. Uh, after that, you know, I, I suggest that when you come in to make your interest payment, and you only have to come in once every four, four months, try to pay down the pay down the principal. You know, when you're paying the interest pay 10% of the principal, 20% if you need to keep it open. Yeah, yeah that sounds like the way to do it. And, and conversely, Barry, if someone was going to try to, uh, you know, make the mistake of getting a cash advance on a credit card, now we're talking 19, 21, maybe 25% or more uh, just on the, right. the, the cash advance. So why would you not want to work with you? Right. Well, it's, good. it's a good deal for one or two months, three months, four months. But after that, it does get expensive. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Okay, so so how does the the deal end? Let's say the the payment's been made, the loan's been paid back, and uh, they got their short term loan, and uh, now they want to get their stuff back. What's the next step there? Well, they come in and you pay your interest, you pay your pr- and principal back, and it's all done. There's no credit check. It's very clean. It's very very. Uh, uh, it, it, it's insured um, and it's secure. Do you have repeat people, Barry? Have you had people come through a couple times and, and work with them on, on these had, sort of loans? I've had people come by with the same exact items. Matter of fact, there's a button on the program uh, that says replicate. And uh, if, if somebody comes in with the same Rolex watch, we can find it under their name and we just replicate the loan. And that's uh, very easy, very, very fast if we've had the item before. Gotcha. So just like that, you've already done the uh, the necessary appraisal work, and you've established a value, and now it's just like, okay, well, let's let's put this paperwork back in effect again, and and begin the process all over again, but save the time. Correct. I and like it's it. very fast. And you know, we we have a very uh, loyal clientele who, who use us all the time. I have business owners coming in with collections of watches. I have uh, we have we have over three hundred thousand dollars in money loaned out. Wow. That's so, awesome. Yeah, so in 2019, you're, you're looking to get uh, a nice short-term loan. Uh, that's the guy you want to talk to. Go see Barry at National Estate and, and talk to him about this. Uh, have, you, have you been keeping an eye on the precious metals markets, uh, Barry? How are things looking yeah. nowadays? As, ex- as I expected, it's kind of strange, but as I expected due to um, the uh, economic uncertainty of our times, gold has gone up. It's almost $1,300 an ounce. So it's twelve hundred and eighty-one dollars an ounce this morning for pure gold, and that's up. That's up. It was up in the it was in the twelve twenties, twelve thirties, twelve forties. It went up quite a bit since wow. all this happened. What what surprises me is that the interest rate just went up, and usually when the Fed ra- raises the interest rate, gold goes down. Hmm. Okay. Just uh, another, so this is one of the indi- yes, another indicator of the uncertainty of the times, right? Exactly. And, and you know, gold used to be much more rel- predictable. It is not predictable anymore. Gotcha. So uh, there's a, there's, go ahead. You're in Florida, but the shop is open today if someone wanted to go buy, right? Yeah, yeah, and we'll do free, evalu- free evaluations all day today. You will, and okay. We won't open tomorrow. Sure. All right, great. Good stuff. Bear, are you there for uh, at least through the weekend, or when you plan on coming back? No, home? we're heading back today. Oh, you know, and, all right. Well, we, we, <laughs> we just we just moved. we got to start working on that house. I guess. All those boxes unpacked. I, I don't guess. want. I don't want to be one of those guys that in 10 years says, Oh, we still have boxes we haven't unpacked. No, I know. You said you didn't want to do that. But uh, hopefully you had a nice time there in Florida, and uh, it'll it'll be great to have you back. So beginning next week, Barry, we'll get back in our our Tuesday at 7.30 schedule because of the holidays. We had to move some things around. But uh, I'm looking forward to uh, another year of uh, some great information and some great things from you, of course. Uh, So so thank you, as always, for the time, and Happy New Year. And uh, Tuesday at 7.30 next week, we'll be back in our regular schedule, my friend. All right? All right. Catch you next week.